In this video, we're going to look at the poem, The Deliverer. And what I want to emphasize really at the start of this poem is the level of difficulty because of the notion of the perspective from which the poem is told. So structurally, it's divided into different sections and subheadings, and it's unclear as to whether or not the narrative perspective shifts with those different subheadings and sections. Um, and I think that the ambiguity there is very, very deliberate and, and quite important because often it kind of suggests that this perspective can shift, the perspective of the woman regarding regardless as to whether it's the child, the sister, the the mother, for example, all of these kind of all of these experiences are actually all the same. Particularly when you look at the setting of this poem in Kerala, you've got this notion of the kind of insignificance of femininity, and it really doesn't matter if it is child or woman, that there is that same level of insignificance. So as the different subheadings kind of shift the perspective of the poem, it becomes kind of important to recognise that it doesn't really matter from which perspective it's being told from. There is that consistent level of subordination, I guess, of women um, over men. Obviously, when that changes to to America, we get a different take on that because the way in which the the character, this this child, the, their experience in life becomes equally subordinating, uh, but obviously in a different context to to the one in Kerala. Um, and it's it's quite dark, really. Some of the ideas in this poem are very difficult to kind of grapple with, um, and it's it's obviously something that the that the writer feels very important in terms of the message that she wants to convey. But really, this is not a message a lot of people want to hear. Um, so there is a there is a conflict in this poem, and often I find it. Um, it is one of the poems that students find the most difficult to engage with, and maybe one of the least memorable poems. Um, certainly not an academic perspective there, but just in the sense that often it's it's the one people disengage with the most and perhaps there is just this kind of contextual, lack of contextual link between the West and obviously Kerala in this instance. So the, the structural form of different headings and subheadings and sections is really important. Um, but what, what is interesting to come back to is the way in which that shifts and shapes the narrative perspective. The sister here is telling my mother how she came to adopt to collect children because they were crippled or dark or girls. That synthetic listing there of crippled or dark or girls suggests that it doesn't really matter which category you fall into there, all are equally disadvantageous. There is no sense of prospect for anybody who could fall into those categories. And it's important that girls is last in that list because it really emphasizes how that could essentially be the large majority of the population that, you know, we kind of increase um, increase the amount of people this could apply to as, as the list progresses. 